Hello and welcome to this special Follow the Boat Extra. Why is it special, Liz? I don't know really. It's special because we've got a couple of things coming up, one of which is the opening of something very exciting, very, very, very exciting. Okay, more on that in a minute. Uh, let's just first explain what we're doing, where, we're, where we are, and also why we are not releasing a video this week. Uh, we're still in the UK. We are on Winchelsea Beach. This is the fantastic Winchelsea Beach. It's taken us four days to record this clip because the weather has been so bad, hasn't it? It's well, so bad. Yeah. The weather's been really, really bad. And it's gorgeous at the moment. That's because you're on that side of the camera looking this way. But if you could see what we could see right now, it's not so nice. But here we are. We've, we've gathered a moment to uh, talk to you. Yes. So we're giving ourselves a break. Uh, I'll be returning to Thailand very soon, which means the uh, videos will start once more. So we're just having a little break. Yeah. But to make up for that, we have something rather exciting and special to open up. Uh, in fact, we've got two projects uh, up and coming which you're going to be working on. So, Liz, tell us about our exciting contact from China. Yeah, we were contacted um, by China to see if we would like to be involved in testing um, a very new product that they've put together. And we were absolutely delighted, flabbergasted and amazed and happy to say, to say yes to that project. And uh, it's all about making the videos better. Yeah, and in fact, I've just realized it's one of our goals on Patreon, yeah, isn't it? it? Is. So I think we're gonna have to address that, but it is the splash drone, a drone. It's really exciting. Uh, so in a minute, we're gonna open that up. I think we're gonna cut to somewhere else where it's not raining and actually film ourselves opening up. And as Liz says, this is going to be an ongoing project uh, documenting our experience of the flash drone, which will hopefully uh, massively improve our coverage of what we're doing, um, provide a little bit of fun as well, and also feedback to you, our experiences of the splash drone. Yeah, it launches from the water and it can go into the water. So it's really for our market. It's for the sailing and water sport market. So uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, we hope, testing it and sharing our tests with everybody on our YouTube channel. And um, what's the other thing I've been playing with? The other idea, which uh, Jamie was working on before we were contacted by China, is um, a different way of uh, photographing and videoing from the boat, from the beach, wherever we are, but in the air, but not using a drone, we're going to use a kite. So watch this space. Yeah, kite. It's called CAP. Kite Aerial Photography. You look up CAP. Um, it actually has a bigger heritage than you realise. People have been flying kite, uh, cameras from kites uh, since the dawn of photography. Uh, it has a very long, rich uh, history of kite aerial photography and um, it was probably most popular in the 90s when digital photography allowed kite flyers to fly small cameras up in the air. Of course, this has now been superseded by drones and quadcopters, but there's a lot of fun to fly in a kite and I bought one earlier this summer and I've been having some fun flying it and um, reliving my childhood actually, it's been good fun. So that's going to be another way we're going to be providing some, hopefully some great footage and that's going to be a project we'll be documenting on Follow the Boat as well. So you can uh, follow our, well I hope it's going to be progress, I think there's going to be a few mistakes and uh, a lot of broken cameras. So. I think also what's going to be interesting is to see if people can tell which footage is from the drone and which footage is from the kite. Yeah, because of course the drone is going to be flying uh, GoPro sports style cameras with a very, very wide angle lens. Uh, with the kite photography, we're hoping we can uh, hoist up smaller compact cameras which will have uh, um, a more natural look and feel to the photography. So uh, that's going to be something we'll be comparing, contrasting and having some fun with. So. Okay, well I hope you enjoy this uh, small video. Normally, as Jamie said at the beginning, it would be our two weekly episode of our journey, but we're having to have a break this week. So, see you next week yeah. with the next episode, but enjoy this one. Grand opening. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. 
So I'm here with my father, who's our special guest in this video. Fragile. Fragile. Uh, the reason why I've got dad involved here is that I thought perhaps he could give us a little bit of a background on how we got into sailing because those of you who follow us and follow the boat will know that Liz and I got into sailing quite late and it was because of this man. Dad, how did we get into sailing? Well, I'm awfully sorry about that. Um, because I was a sea scout about 60 years ago and one day I suddenly felt this urge to go back to sailing after many years of, of bringing up children and working and so on. So I put together a little package of sailing across the North Sea and thought perhaps that you might like to join me with our other son Marcus. And sure enough, you took to it like a duck to water. And the rest of it's history, basically. Do you remember what year that was? 2003, 2000, no, 2002, I think. I think that's right. Yes. Yeah, well, come on, keep going. Go, come on, come on, don't keep everyone waiting. Liz, uh, you can take over with the running commentary. I want to see what's in the box. I want to see what's... Oh, look, it's a case. It comes in its own case. How smashing. Pull it out, pull it out. Show the people. <laughs> what's in the box? Open the box, open the box. <laughs> yeah. Splash drone, the world's first amphibious drone. Liz, do the honours. Hold this. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Can we have a close up second look cameraman? Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? Can we point it towards the camera slightly? It comes in its perfect place. Okay, so what we have here are um, spare rotor blades because we're going to get through a few of these, I think, as we test drive this thing. Uh, you can see the four motors on each corner here. And, um, well, would you look at that? It even comes with... Well, there's the uh, camera case. Does it come with the camera as well? We'll, have a f we'll find out in a minute. This is the control. It's a nice, decent size, that. Control box. I like that. Um, well, there's not much more we can say about this because we haven't read the uh, RTFM. We haven't RTFM'd, have we? No. What, what does RTFM stand for, Dad? Read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> read the flipping manual. Read the flipping manual, yeah. Well, can I take yes. this out? Yep. <sighs> Whoa, she's quite heavy. Is the drone that's the, the main part of the drone, and then we have the rotors. Okay, a little bag. Um, well, there she is. So that's the grand opening of it. Um, I think what we need to do now is to go back and read the instructions read the and find somewhere a little bit more conducive to crash landings than here. Although, having said that. It is waterproof, and if we crash it in the sea, it's not so much a problem. The only issue is, who's going to go and retrieve it? You. Dad? <laughs> Mum? No, thank you. Mum likes swimming. It says, beware of underwater obstructions out there. <laughs> I love the case. Yeah, it's great. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there we go, there's the splash drone. Very and um, yeah, well, we'll just take it from here. We, uh, we're going to film ourselves putting it together and uh, experimenting with it whilst we're in the UK. We did want to actually try and capture some friends uh, who have a water park here, uh, but it's probably a bit too late for that. But we're hoping that by the time we get back to Thailand, we'll be proficient enough to uh, start um, flying this thing and capturing some footage. So, watch this space and thank you very much to the guys behind Splash Drone. We're going to keep you posted.